Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is uh, Tuesday, June 18th. And just got a couple economic news releases uh, scheduled for today, but they are important ones. We got the Consumer Price Index or the uh, CPI report. This is going to be the headline number for the month of May. And this is the consumer inflationary number that we all look at as well as the PCE, personal consumption expenditure, are the two important ones. Now we had a negative basic contraction, so it dropped in April, negative 0.4%, and then uh, we forecast was for it to have a little bit more uh, inflation at 0.2%, but actually came up 0.1%. So the headline looks pretty tame, uh, but when you get strip out the food and energy, which is creates the volatility in the market, or volatility, this is what the uh, the Fed actually looks at, the core number, because there's too much volatility when you have the food and energy in there. So back in April, they had a 0.1%. We figured it would uh, be about the same, and it actually jumped up about 0.2%. So we show a little bit more inflation for the month of May, which is something we can definitely got to keep an eye on. Uh, something I'm sure the Fed's got their uh, pulse on because uh, obviously we want to make sure we can get control inflation and want to get it overhand. Uh, my understanding, I th believe that will bring us uh, year over year about 2.4% right in the range that the Fed wants. So again, uh, that could be you know, putting us into that category of that tapering of the uh, quantum easing of what the Fed said, where they said they'll go up to 2.5% on the inflation rate, and then, of course, they want the uh, unemployment down. So if the inflation gets all checked, it's possible they could raise rates before unemployment gets done. So something that we have to kind of watch and uh, watch in here. And, of course, we'll uh, talk a little bit more about that in a second here. Uh, the other item here is we got the housing starts for the month of May. And April, we had 856,000, a little disappointing uh, back in April. So May was supposed to be a lot better at 953 is the forecast, and it came at 914. So better, but not great. You know, uh, we had 914,000 people uh, housing starts. So let's go ahead and, sorry about that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look over at the headline news. And on the headline news, we have the uh, stock market's currently up. And uh, obviously, good news because the uh, Housing starts, they kind of like the housing starts, but they're also kind of gearing up the uh, for the Fed meeting, uh, which begins today. The announcements, they'll be, it's a two-day meeting, and then uh, afterwards, around usually around 11 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time, you know, they'll typically give their announcement. So something, of course, all ears going to be on there, especially when there was comments a few weeks ago from uh, Ben Bernanke in front of Congress talking about possibly tapering up on the quantum easing. So they want to make sure that there's any changes. So there'll be a lot of volatility this week, uh, especially today and tomorrow. As they're kind of you know putting their uh, per perhaps their buffer zone for tomorrow's announcement. And speaking of tomorrow, basically that's the only thing that we got for economic news uh, for scheduled for tomorrow is that. So we'll be very much heavily weighted on what the Fed uh, Fed's decision will be. So now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the bond market, see what interest rates are doing. Well, we last unfortunately that uh, nice little trend we were going upwards. Uh, we did close that gap, but unfortunately, it kept, it kept going uh, yesterday. So we went below the 10-day moving average, and then today we opened up a gap to the negative. So now we're challenging where we had our lows earlier around June 10th, a few about a week ago. So now we're challenging those uh, numbers. So right now we're currently at 99.88. If the Fed decision comes in, uh, it, you know, uh, be prepared. It could uh, easily drop uh, worse tomorrow, uh, especially in the afternoon after they give the announcement. So be very cautious tomorrow. It's hard to say how the market's going to react. Uh, it could be favorable, could be negative, uh, but be prepared. It could be we're going to have a lot of volatility going in tomorrow. And right now, the trend is looking at a negative stance where bond markets go down, which creates a rise in the interest rates. So we do have. Uh, a little bit worse uh, pricing uh, today uh, from yesterday on the interest rates. All right, folks, uh, again, prepare tomorrow. We'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful day. And I may just do this a little bit later after the uh, Fed uh, tomorrow announcement so we can give you a, an update as to what, what happened and such. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.